All right, now we're going to do it. So what we're going to do is look at uh, Milliport, a stock that's recently been in play here. Or we're going to break it down on how to make a volume alert on it in case uh, you, you might not be watching at the time. But you want to be able to be alerted if something volume does come in and a, and a spike comes in. Someone's talking about it somewhere. So you're going to right click this. You're going to go to new alert. This is on the quote tracker uh, charting software. And you're going to bring up a, a, a alert page like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over here um, to the type of alert. And you're going to go to column alert. And again from the column alert you're going to pull the volume. You make sure it's volume. And you're going to go to volume last volume and the last volume is based on whatever period you're, you're dealing with so in this in this in this case we're dealing with the one minute chart so we're looking at um, one minute uh, volume that comes in at one minute uh, so, and we, remember we talked about 40,000 being a, an interesting uh, number so we're going to put down that 40,000 uh, number for that one minute volume alert I want to click audio alert right over here and uh, we could customize it by putting in a, our own audio alert um, and you have to make one of these up it could be uh, it could be a basically an audio alert but right now we're oh, I'm going to go into that a little bit later but you put your custom alert whatever wave file you want to have it there um, I usually put volume alert I'm trying to think how I where do I save my volume alerts? Let me take a look fast. Um, hmm. Nothing over there. Let me check on the documents. Nothing over there. I'm going to have to make up a volume alert. I'll show you how to do that in a second. I need to save the new alert, and then everything is actually set up there for you. So if you start to see that volume coming in, and actually we're starting to see MIL here. I saw that little volume coming in here earlier. That's why I brought this up. And we're starting to see a little push a little bit further um, on the one-hour chart. The two-hour chart is starting to push back up here a little. And that's basically how we're going to set up those volume alerts. So now you could just you could actually you know minimize that chart or put it wherever you want to put it. And once you see that volume coming in, you can bring it into, your, bring it into play and stuff. People are starting to look at that as well. Those shorts don't want to be short going into something like that. Hey, Gary Kamansky, I want to ask you about your trade. Uh, the EPV, which is a short, ultra short, I should say, uh, the European markets essentially. That has been a trade that has been working, but uh, with some of the, the moves in the euro we're seeing, it is uh, off right now. At what point, I mean, are you betting to the point where the euro, in fact, does reach parity with the dollar? Are you along with these big hedge funds, got fund guys and playing it via the EPF? EPD, I'm going to continue to stay long that uh, ETF. I don't get scared out by a day or two. And again, it's not necessarily because uh, I think the euro will continue to decline, Melissa, but I'm making this bet because I believe that the European, European economies are going to continue to collapse. It's a fundamental bet that these 